Lucy and we're going to work on some counter conditioning. She's been experiencing some uh, barking and fear when there's a doorbell ringing. She's up, but the primary concern that the guardian has is that she is very reactive to little children. Since we don't have any kids here to work with, we're going to use the same technique that she can use by using an audible cue. Um, where with kids it will be visual. So in, um, for this, we're going to slowly increase the sound because she's still reactive to a doorbell. So we're gonna start off really quiet and have her be in a sitting position and nibbling on a treat only when she hears the sound. And then we can slowly increase the sound to, a, um, to get her to kind of be desensitized using this counter conditioning method. What the guardian will wanna do is when they're working with kids is to, instead of increasing the sound, we wanna um, increase the distance and then slowly get closer to the kids. Our marker for her being comfortable is if she can be sitting and nibbling on a treat, then she's in a comfortable, relaxed position and you can start to move a little closer. If she's not sitting and comfortable, then you need to get farther from the kids until she can sit and work on this a couple of times. Stay in that position for about five times before trying to get closer. Um, I encourage you to go to a place where you know there will be a lot of kids, like a park or going to an outlet mall, any place where you know there will be kids Try to start on a day where it won't be too many so you have more control over the situation. And um, this is how we'll help Lucy with counter conditioning. You can use the same method for really anything that makes her anxious or she's reactive to. So again, um, she starts to bark and kind of um, to get the blinds when she hears uh, dogs outside. So the, owner, the guardian can use the same exact method again when the dogs are outside, move her farther from the window and do the counter conditioning method. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and start using counter conditioning on the doorbell. And the guardian's gonna make the noise. And I have Lucy in a sitting position and I'm letting her nibble on the treat. And see, it's very quiet. So go ahead and play that again and just make it a little louder. Okay, again. A little louder. Okay, see, now that's something that we had tested this earlier to see when she would start to react, and she was reacting to that level of sounds, and she's still sitting and comfortable. Okay, let's try it again, try a little bit louder. Okay, she's still nibbling on the treat. Lucy. Okay, go ahead and do it again, let's do it a little louder. Okay, so what I want the guardian to notice when looking at Lucy is that her ears are going really far back. Do you see this? Can mm -hmm. you, and is that in the video? Can you see that? Yes. Okay, perfect. I think so. So um, do this at the same sound. Don't go up yet because I want you to notice that when her ears are going back like that, she's um, a little Listen. more likely to start to be reactive to that. So this is a level that we want to do a couple of times before going louder. Okay, she's starting to relax a little bit. Let's try it a little bit louder. Do you see how she stopped eating that time? Mm -hmm. So that's about at the threshold that we wanna to get to today. We want to end on a good note. Let's do it one more time. Um, one second, she, let me get her attention. Oh, she dropped a piece on the ground. Okay. Oh dear, I don't know what it just did. It just that's okay, did we, we stayed good. I had the treat going. <laughs> um, try one more time and so we can end this on a good note. Perfect, and again, just notice how her ears went by backwards. And that was her just kind of showing that she's a little more stressed by that. So we've reached about the threshold we can accomplish today. Um, each time that the guardian works on this type of an exercise, when you begin again and you're going to start it, uh, we slowly increase the sound over time. You're going to want to go to a sound level that's lower than we ended on. So start about that mid range and then you can slowly start to work past it. So kind of like a relay race. So the highest sound you get to in the last try that she's successful at, when you go to practice again, go a little bit quieter. Or with the kids, you get, say, about five feet from the kids, and that's where you ended and she was successful. Next time you go out, start around six feet away from the kids and make sure she's successful before you start increasing your distance. So that's how we're going to use counter conditioning to help Lucy overcome her uh, barking and anxiety towards uh, sounds and children.